Hey everyone, welcome back to another Apples and Tiara's vlog. So today is going to be the long anticipated classroom tour for the 24-25 school year. If you guys are new here, I am a fourth grade reading science and social studies teacher in Northern Arizona, and my name is Charlotte. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm gonna just kind of get right into it, flip you guys around and show you my classroom. So I am standing in the very farthest corner that I can possibly be in. This is the end of the school day, right before back to school night. So the room is in the state that it was in when the students left. So you're gonna see real life of what it looks like when the kids go. Um, I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna cruise around the outer perimeter and then um, we'll talk about the middle. So to the left here, you guys can see my cabinets, which I am so incredibly grateful for. I'm not gonna go through each and every cabinet. Um, I might open each one and kind of talk about it, but I'm not gonna go through each one. And then also up across the top is the majority of my storage. Um, I have different supplies up there from sand to flour, salt, paint, cups, plates. Um, anything that wouldn't fit in the cabinets is up there and it's all organized by bin. So I know there's like three or four cup bins and like a plate bin and a magnets bin. And so all of my storage for science stuff is up there and in this big cabinet. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through each area of the room um, and talk about it. So this is my library box. This is where my students put their library books when we come back from library. Um, and then of course I've got um, nurse passes and trash and stuff. And then across the top in the countertop here, I've got a few things, um, loose leaf paper for free writing if students wanna do that. This is where I keep all of my master copies for the week um, so that if I need a new one, I know right where to go get it. Um, and I just keep them there. And then I have some birthday um, glasses for if a student has a birthday and a bookmark. So on their birthday, I give them a little pair of glasses and a bookmark. Right here is where we keep all of our brag tag supplies. So we have our chains for this year. We have some beads um, and then we have our little rocket ships and these go with our math program. And then we have all of our different brag tags in here and we just store them here for uh, the grade level. Um, I usually keep my copies for the following week across this countertop, or sorry, for the next week across this countertop um, before I cut them up and then place them in the paper trays. Um, but for now, they're just kind of sitting out. And my paper cutter usually sits here, but a coworker is borrowing that for now. Um, up here, I keep my iClever headphones. If you guys have never heard of iClever before, I highly, highly recommend you check them out. My students all have earbuds to use every day, but I got two boxes of five of these really cute iClever headphones to use as backups. That way if a kiddo forgets or loses their earbuds, they have a set of headphones to use for various reasons. These headphones are great because they have safe volume technology. They're super comfortable on their ears and their heads. And of course, as you can see, they come in really cute colors. You can get a box of five for under $40, either on the iClever website or on Amazon. If you guys are interested in checking them out I do have a coupon code to share with you it will be linked down in the description box below it'll be for 12% off of the iClever website or 5% off of Amazon I just think these headphones are so great then up here is where I keep my reading task for the week. This is for small group time. When my students are assigned a reading task, this is where they go to get it. And same for math task. If they're assigned a math task, this is where they go to get that. Then inside of the cabinets, this one is broken, obviously, but this is where I keep different um, holiday items. So like Christmas decor, Halloween stuff, it's all in there. And then in this one, I keep a few things. It's not totally full. And then back there, I keep some other supplies, but I have labeled on the door what is in here so that if I need something, like I know there's extra folders back there and there's random decor and extra composition books and headphones in there. So I know exactly what's in the cabinet when I go in there, this one. Um, it really just holds all of my like stored paper products and extra bins and then um, I have all these types of bins in here and then these were left from my sub last year. I think it was an end of the year party thing so I just kept them for maybe this year. And then in these cabinets I just have some various items like folders and batteries 
And then these ones are extra um, paper. Same for this one. It's mostly just like copy supplies. And then that one is like lined paper and copy paper. And this is my Monica closet that is full of science supplies and other various supply items. And same thing, I did um, create a little system here on the door that tells me exactly what is in the cabinet and in order. So these three bins are the back three that are back there, tells me what's in them. And then the front three bins, this tells me what is in those. So it's not beautiful, but it's changeable. And if I ever need to change a shelf, I can easily pull the sticky note off and change that. All right, as we come this way, we have a few more things. Um, this is just storage right now for extra supplies. My science cart is usually where I keep all of the science supplies for the lesson or the activity. Um, and I keep all the supplies there on trays and then I kind of divvy it out. My science trays are stored right there up until we need them. I have more supplies here for back to school that I desperately need to put away. But as you guys know, we all run out of time all the time. Um, and then of course we have the sink and the computer cart and then some more storage up top. Um, and then as we go this way, we have the fridge. These are all my indoor recess games and stuff. I have like cards and like Uno and Dominoes in there in addition to the Legos that go in that one. Um, this is where I keep all of my students' notebooks and folders. So we have reading folder and then science. So these are, um, this folder has reading and science inside of it. So when they're here, they keep their work in there. Uh, we just have some textbook storage here. And then my other class, same thing. They don't have anything in them right now because it's the second week of school and we're just starting to get rolling. I keep all my extra art supplies here um, because the kids like to come over and get boxes of crayons and markers. And honestly, the table bins have been getting a little cluttered, so we might switch that up in a little while. But for now, I've been keeping it here. Um, I have every intention to move everything into my supply bins, but honestly, they're pretty full. So I might just keep going with this system until the supplies are depleted. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll save that for another day. And then this is my classroom library. It's gotten a lot smaller. Last year I went on maternity leave and a bunch of my books went missing. I had like three or four copies of all of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books and a lot of them are gone. That is all I have left. Um, all my Dogman books are gone and a lot of my Dork Diaries books are gone. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is and we move on from there. <laughs> so. Um, this couch was gifted to me by my sister. I love keeping real plants in my classroom. I just think that they're great for aesthetic and not only that, but they clean the air and I absolutely love that. Um, going this way, my inbox cart is here and it's been kind of rolling around everywhere, but I kind of like it that way. Wherever the cart is, that's where you turn your work in. Um, and then I put the bench of the chair here just to be another cozy spot where students can sit and read. I wanted there to be lots of different options of places where kids could sit. Um, and then this is obviously the front of the room. The students come and sit here on the numbers and we do our intro up here. My glue sponges are up here. They should be down here. <laughs> um, these are for, um, like doing highlighting together if we need different colors. Clipboards are here under the TV as well. And then this would be like a talking chip. Like if we're gonna do a community circle, we would pass Liz around. You guys know I love the frizzle. This is my teaching station. So it has everything I need. I keep all of my teacher um, notebooks and folders right there on the board where I can get to them quickly. And then I have extra pencils if students need them. I keep all my nurse passes here, my Who's Absent calendar. I keep my walking tickets and my happy mail there, and then our master schedule. And this is just everything I would really grab for on an all the time basis. And then in the drawer is all of my like personal supplies. So like my crayons, my markers, my scissors, my glue sticks. Um, anything I really would need um, while I'm in the middle of teaching. Um, down here is where I'm kind of just keeping like things that I don't want the kids into. This is my calm down box and it's also where I'm holding all of my extra headphones if I need it. Cash's Nintendo Switch is here, that's my son. 
Um, and then I plan on using this for my small group bin. I uh, just got a bunch of these LCD panels. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I wanted to do that um, for small groups, possibly for like phonics, um, having them write words, draw sounds, things like that. This is where I keep my daily copies. Um, and so like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then extras when I, like if a kid's not here, I put the extras down there and then I can give it to them when it's time. Uh, candy jar is getting really sad, <laughs> but I have three more um, plants over here um, and just some pictures of, you know, my sweetie pies. Uh, this is where I keep all of my supplies, the binders of curriculum, um, staplers, tape, post-its, um, stuff like that. And then this is my desk space. Um, I have my old gaming chair in here because in my new house, I will not have space for a gaming area. Um, and so I keep that here. I'm not gonna go super into this area. I'm just gonna let you guys check it out. Um, I am working on some projects. So I have some stuff out and around, but this is what it looks like. Um, so yeah, this is my desk area. Very pink, very teal, very me. I don't sit here when I have students. This is really just for me to get my work done where I do all my planning um, and yeah. Then I have another space here for students to sit. You can either sit three of them or one could lay on it. Um, these chairs are reserved for when my small group table comes in. It will go about right here. It's probably gonna stick out quite a bit. So we'll sort that out when it gets here, but that is where it's gonna go. Um, and then going this direction, we have the whiteboard, which is where I keep all of my learning targets for the day. And I'm starting a vocabulary wall. This is another spot where students can sit. Um, this is where all of my picture books live. I don't have very many. Like I said, a lot of kids stole my books last year. Um, so a lot of them are missing. But And then this is just another spot where I can put someone who maybe needs to work by themselves, um, or if they're taking a test and they can't be with general population, then they hang out there. And then this is kind of like a one-stop shop. Um, if they go to the bathroom, they put this on their seat. Um, walking tickets, think sheets, sharpener, all the things, trash. And I have a Jocelyn in here. <laughs> this is the first time you're ever going to be on the channel. Welcome. And then, of course, the door with my cow sign because I am a breastfeeding mom. And so I'm having to pump at all of my breaks all the time. As you guys can see, it is a new day. I had to stop filming yesterday because back to school night was getting ready to begin. So I'm gonna finish off the tour here. Cash is here with me now. Hello. <laughs> so we have the tables set up in the center. Um, as always, if you guys are new with me, I always have my table names labeled as the seven continents. Um, and they are laid out in geographical order. Cash, I have to cut that out. And they are laid and they are laid out in geographical order. So we have North and South America, we have Europe and Africa, and we have Asia and Australia. Um, and then my section up here is usually Antarctica. Um, and so I love having my tables set up this way. Um, I do have a couple of friends that um, have some self-control stuff and so they have um little squares that they um sit in and they're allowed to stand up and move around but they have to stay within that square um because they like to get up and walk across the room and just wander and um which i understand you know when we have um you know certain needs um and then yeah my numbers are here in the front um and yeah <laughs> you being a monkey <laughs> this is part of my classroom too it's my little monkey boy <laughs> so that is my fourth grade reading science and social studies classroom tour i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're not already go ahead and hit the subscribe button follow me if you guys would like to see more Follow my Instagram and my TikTok account. They'll be linked right here down in the description below. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.